and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Kharkiv is fallen. I am at Kharkiv train station. Hundreds of people are queuing to buy tickets and flee eastern Ukraine. This was a comment received from the second largest city in Ukraine. Another comment received was that the Russian flag was raised in this Ukrainian city. This could not be independently confirmed. The sun is coming up in Kharkiv. We heard explosions. People are starting to panic. We're heading out. The question is do you stay and get trapped or do you run and face danger on road or bombing? War in Ukraine is in full swing hours after Putin ordered a full-scale invasion. Missiles rain down on Kharkiv and tanks roll across the border from Belarus as hundreds of Ukrainians die. Martial law is declared and five Russian jets are shot down. State Border Service shared this video of Russian tanks and armored vehicles crossing into Ukraine from the occupied Crimea today. A man was seen next to a body as airstrikes damaged an apartment complex outside of Kharkiv, Ukraine. Twitter.com. Twitter.com. YouTube.b. According to Britannica. Kharkiv, Russian Kharkiv, city, northeastern Ukraine. It lies at the confluence of the Uda, Lopan, and Kharkiv rivers. It was founded about 1655 as a military stronghold to protect Russia's southern borderlands. Part of the old Kremlin wall survives. The center of a region of fertile soils and rapid colonization in the 18th century, it quickly developed important trade and handicraft manufacturers and became a seat of the provincial government in 1732. Its nodal position was enhanced in the later 19th century by the opening of the adjacent Donetsk Basin coalfield, first reached by rail from Kharkiv in 1869. At that period Kharkiv's own industries, especially engineering, grew rapidly. After the Russian Revolution of 1917, Kharkiv was made the first capital of the Ukrainian SSR but lost this function to Kyiv in 1934. In World War II this key junction was bitterly contested and changed hands several times, with very heavy destruction. Today Kharkiv retains its role as a communications center. It is a large rail junction, with several trunk lines converging on it and a number of mainline stations. Kharkiv is also a node on the trunk highway system of Ukraine and Russia, with highways to Moscow, to Kyiv and western Ukraine, to Zaporizhia and Crimea, and to Rostov-na-Donu and the Caucasus. It has a major airport as well. It is the second largest city in Ukraine and is the center of a metropolitan area comprising many satellite towns. The industrial structure of Kharkiv is headed by engineering. The city's wide range of products has included diesel locomotives, machine tools, mining machinery, tractors, and other agricultural machinery, bicycles, generators, steam turbines, and many electrical items. Light industries have produced foodstuffs and other consumer goods. Much of the power for industry and heating in the city derives from natural gas. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.